Back to back years. He gets his first rushing touchdown since 2015. He was moving in the pocket nicely. And in the fourth quarter, he put it together to, to wrap this one up. 23 of 31, 288, and two touchdowns for number eight. And it didn't hurt to have Janarian Grant break off 92 yards for a return a touchdown. Great returners in this with Mary Alford, too. And that proved to be one of the biggest differences in this one as well. And so it's the. Uh, Father's Day weekend coming up, and, and we talked about that during the game, how special <laughs> it is to a lot of the players. Stanley Bryant, another big game for the for the big offensive line, and uh, there's his little one. Celebrating, too, bomber style and going off the field victorious with his dad as Winnipeg does improve to 2-0. and oh. Okay. We didn't get the record who what record he broke, whose record he broke. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, see. Uh Clarissa's Clarissa's number, sorry. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Oh, you got, got it? Him. Okay. Got you, you got it. Okay. Yeah, I got him. So yeah. so wait, so he tied a record. Did I say did I say he beat the record? No, I think, I, I, think, think you, I think you had said tied. Okay. You said tied. So the order in this one, I set him up. Yes. Okay. To Britt Dort and Zach Kolaris. Okay. 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 A great, a great cupping. What did what did you say? Early fourth quarter. Oh, we have that? Yeah. Oh, I see. I Because that's not. Oh, that's not. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. I was talking to. This Wait, was a, and and, and this is it. how it starts after the Clara's interview, right? Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Okay. And then after that, I'm just saying which teams they've got next next week, right? Okay. Yeah. Hey. Uh, sure. Can, can you? <laughs> yeah, whatever you want. I don't care. Yeah. Can you? Can you? Exp can you explain that again? Can oh, start, come on. Can you start come on. The top on that. Oh, come on. Jeez, fellas. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, you can say this much about the Winnipeg Blue Bombers offense, especially 45 points on the board, some special teams in there, too. But in week one against Hamilton and in week two here in Saskatchewan, they are in midseason form. Yeah, they, they really are. And, and Zach Kolaris looked great tonight. They The two quarterbacks, two veteran quarterbacks, he and Trevor Harris, really went toe-to-toe -to -toe for three straight quarters. But Kolaris kept it going into the fourth. And, I mean, it didn't matter if he was deep in the pocket, throwing it down the field against coverage, or whether the Riders tried to throw some blitz packages at him. He would get himself some extra time. He would manage the pocket. Sometimes he took off. He actually had a rushing touchdown for the first time since 2015. Here it is right here. Had some fun with that with his teammates on the sideline. Just outstanding from top to bottom. That doesn't mean you don't go two and out every now and then, but this was a great offensive performance. Week one, the defense is pretty much won in all four games. Week two, the offenses are catching up. Yeah, 38 points generated by that bomber offense now. And here's what Zach Caleros had to say afterwards to Britt Dort. All right, well, Zach, you're actually 8-0 and against the Riders as a bomber. So what's it like when you come out here and you play this team every time? We know it's a big battle, but you come out with the win. Uh, this is just a great atmosphere to play in. Uh, it, it was really rocking here tonight. Uh, they made it difficult on us. Uh, I thought we did a good job executing our game plan, uh, score some points. You know, Janarian uh, kind of broke us away there in the third quarter, and it was uh, just an awesome atmosphere to play in. Well, what can you say about your offense tonight? Because it felt like every time the Riders would try to get some momentum, you guys would respond even bigger. Yeah, I mean, you just got to weather the storm. You know, again, it's, it's, a, it's a crazy environment here, so they had some momentum. Trevor played an unbelievable game, uh, especially given the circumstances, so hats off to him and the offense. Um, but, yeah, you know, we, we 
we were able to stay on the field and score touchdowns when we needed to, so that was awesome. Well, now you start the season 2-0. You know you have the Lions next week back at home. What kind of challenge is that going to be for this team? I mean, they're a great football team. That's, I, we played them in the West Final last year. Uh, they got a great group coming back. It's going to be a challenge for sure. All right, well, thanks so much. Thanks. Good job. So offensively, yes, they did play Blue Bomber football. That's been a big part of the team, the 38 on the board. How about those other seven, though? Because we've seen Suits, Janarian Grant be a game breaker so many times, and he was again in this one. It had us flashing back to uh, what he did in the playoffs last year with Winnipeg. Well, yeah, deep into this game, he had another big return that had to be reviewed, and, and Michael Shea did a good job of challenging that, and he won the challenge. But, yeah, let's take you back first to the Grey Cup return. This is Janarian Grant on the exact same field here at Mosaic Stadium. He goes 102 yards, which is a Grey Cup record in what was another very exciting football game. But, listen, this Winnipeg team is a three-phase football team. They can beat you on defense. They can dominate there. Their offense had a big night tonight. And here tonight was the reviewed and challenged return. Now, in the challenge, Michael O'Shea challenged it because it was a penalty flag for an illegal block. They went back and looked. The command center said they looked at all the blocks. There was no penalty. So a little bit of a tense moment for Janarian Grant on, while he was waiting for the review, but he got there. So that was a real key turning point in the game late. Zach Kolaris finished the job. And that is the eighth time in Janarian Grant's career that he's had a return for a touchdown. Uh, remarkable job in this one. Here he is now with Brett. Well, Janarian, last time you actually played on this field back in Grey Cup, you had the same play. You had the return for the touchdown. You do that again here tonight. But walk me through the emotions of when it happened, then it got called back, and then it got overturned. Oh, uh, man, I was happy. And I look back, seeing it was a flag, man. So I was just patiently waiting to see what was going on. Uh, you know, the coach challenged it. They overruled it, overturned it, man. So I was just happy that, you know, I was able to get a touchdown. And, you know, I just appreciate my teammates for allowing me to do that. Definitely ended up being one of the key plays of this game. But what can you say about the special teams and the offense, the way you guys were able to work around the Riders' defense tonight? Man, we just play Winnipeg football. That's all we can do. That's all we should do, you know. Just got to keep the three phases going each and every game, you know. So we take it one, one game at a time just to come out 1-0. All right, well, now you're 2-0 on this season. So what's that say about this group, given the end to last season and how you guys are already rolling this year? And, man, we're going to fight. That's all we can do. All right, well, thanks so much. Thank you. As for the Riders, Glenn, they didn't get the win, but they saw some encouraging signs on offense. Yeah, I think Rider fans can be happy with what they saw, especially with Trevor Harris in the offense. Samuel Emelis had a big, big game, three touchdowns. That ties a Rider record for touchdowns in a single game. And Trevor Harris threw for over 400 yards and was three touchdowns. So, you know, a lot of positives. They went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a very good football team in Winnipeg all the way into the fourth quarter. Didn't finish it. But I think there's a lot to like here if you're a Saskatchewan fan. They fall to one and one, and next week they go to McMahon Stadium in Calgary to face the Stampeders who are coming off a win. Uh, as for uh, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, you heard Britt talk about it with Zach Caleros. They get the BC Lions coming to Winnipeg uh, next week as well.